TCLD Trust was formed four years ago, pretty much to um, as a mechanism to aid community-led development originally in the middle reaches of the Wanganui River, so from Matahiwi, Ranana, uh, Jerusalem, also known as Hiru Harama and Pipidiki. So the community knows what the community needs, you know. So essentially everybody, everybody has a voice and their voice is important. We've got a vision. That vision is determined by our people up the Awa. You know, it's their dreams and their aspirations that leads this, and it's all of ours really, because we're all from the Awa. We all want the best for our people. So, yeah, we do have we do have challenges, but we navigate around them. If we can't do it this way, we'll go. We'll just keep going around until we can find a way forward. And together, we'll get whatever mahi needs to be done, done. But what do you want for your village where you live? What's important to you and your family? You know, is it a bus shelter because your kids are out in the rain when the pahi's going to come pick you up? Or um, is, is the annoying uh, hole next, you know, the culvert next to your house, is that blocking up all the time? Or people getting stuck in it? Whatever that looks like, um, we'll look at, yeah, working together and finding solutions, so local solutions as well. Slowly, we've got other organisations in, in Wanganui, um, government organisations and non, on board to help us sort of survive and keep the community-led development programme going. If it's not for these external organisations that we are involved with and have made those connections with and we have these strong relationships with, it'll be, it, it would have been really hard to survive. There are a huge amount of organisations that actually do want to they do want to engage with our community because you know we're rural isolated predominantly Māori community and people want to engage they want to help but they don't necessarily know how so we can be um, that mechanism to help make that happen so they'd make contact with us and say hey you know I hear you're doing some really great stuff up the river which we are how can we help and then we say well okay come in um, come and see what we're about oh I can't you must buy those <laughs> So we've got a big workshop today, uh, we've got cooking with Kai Hauora with Donna, Donna Ferguson and this is our second workshop with her and it's about sustainable kai, uh, what we can get out of our nahire, what we can um, get in the bush with our meat, um, salads for our salads, vegetables um, and incorporating rungoa into our kai. We've had four stations set up, making rewana bread, our salads and vinaigrettes, making sausages out of goat and venison, wild pork, and just the sauces for our salads. So our wano has provided, Donna went out and get, got tuna herself. Wano here from Atene provided venison and goat. Uh, my husband and cousin Glenn provided uh, wild pork and venison. And then everything came from the Marakai at Donna's or from the Nahiri. The thing I, that I love about this program is, is we all waka papa to the river. What I do with the Awa workshops is all about empowering our own. We're all investing in ourselves and knowing that we can be healthier. So everything that we've used is from the land. I'm just giving everybody basic principles and then they're taking from it what they want. And it's really good seeing them all getting engaged and, and, and even taking over. That's what it was all about, was to put them there, and give them the recipes and let them run with it. And I hope in a year's time I'll see people that have been struggling with, you know, weight loss and, and that start to get healthier and start to, you know, because that's what it's all about for me is, you know, the well-being, everyone's well-being. The council are really um, proactive with us and if we see things that need to be doing, they want to know, they want to help and they'll do whatever they can to help. So there's been some really great results. Most of us have lived or associated with these communities for a long time. So we are already aware, we're quite lucky we're already aware of what's what those core needs or core aspirations have been and we've gathered data from um, you know other bodies such as the Runanga or the Marae in the past and looked at that data and we've also gone out there and spoken to the people. It all just happens from conversations and yep. we've just got those relationships because they're our, they're our whānau. 
um, they're our friends, they're our neighbours, so it starts from there and the people living up there and the ones from town too are really, um, they're really positive and um, really excited about the work we're doing so we sort of let the work just speak for itself, it's like hey look this is what we're about and the proof is all here because we're all about action and we want to get things done. When you actually produce the results or produce the good say then that speaks for itself, you start to gain the trust of, oh, you're not all talk. And I'd like to see us all coming together and working together to help uh, move, move things forward. Um, you know, that, that would be the ultimate for me, is to have all the people, kotahitanga, um, and us, you know, helping one another, working together.